Welcome back to Xbox Corner, my name's Luke and today on the channel we're going to be taking a look at Faraday Protocol on the Xbox Series X and S. It's a story driven first person puzzle game where you find yourself on a mysterious space station of sorts and with the use of a futuristic pistol have to manipulate energy to solve puzzles and work out what you're doing there and where exactly there is. Now I want to say a quick thanks to the publisher Deck13 for providing a review copy of the game, especially since I'm a big fan of puzzle games and I'm always looking for new ones to challenge me. With that said, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to be notified of our latest deals, reviews and game pass videos and let's get into it. So the story in this one kicks things off in a rather cliche manner with you waking up in some sort of submersion tank aboard your ship. Having travelled across the galaxy and arrived at some kind of space station, you're then tasked with investigating the signal that it's been broadcasting, but upon stepping outside, you're greeted by an AI sentinel before being granted access to the facility. Now I'm not going to be going into a lot of detail to avoid spoilers, but the story and reason behind the facility is slowly revealed as you work your way through the game, and by the end of it, it does turn out to be quite an interesting one. Your character records audio logs every once in a while dictating his findings, which also reveals a little about his background and his interactions with the facility's AI lead to revelations about its origin and purpose, which do eventually lead to a meaningful conclusion. So gameplay then as you'd expect is focused primarily around puzzle solving. Shortly after arriving at the facility you find yourself in your first ziggurat, a pyramid like structure and from there on in, gameplay kind of takes on a format similar to the portal games as your puzzle solving skills are tested throughout a series of rooms. Now the first kind of puzzles you encounter see you using a kind of futuristic pistol called the buyer tool to transfer energy from one location to another and energy is used to activate statues which act as a kind of power source as well as create links between the these power sources and other puzzle elements. While this mechanic is relatively simple in itself, the developers have been pretty creative with their incorporation of these energy mechanics and the initial puzzle format is built upon as you work through the game with additional elements added to keep things fresh while still maintaining a level of familiarity. Now as you get further into the game, entirely new puzzle mechanics are also introduced such as matching up symbols and colours or pressing sequences of buttons and the game begins to challenge your memory just as much as your logical deductions and by the end of the game, all of these are blended together culminating in a trial which will test everything you've learned. Now while there is a reasonable amount of variety to the game's puzzles, things are still kept rather simple in Faraday Protocol and you shouldn't expect the level of diversity or challenges offered by something like The Witness. I personally had no real issues solving any of the game's puzzles and found them all to be structured in a pretty logical fashion and I would say that the most challenging aspect about the game is actually remembering the contents of each room. Puzzle elements are often distributed throughout a group of rooms and I often found myself backtracking to jog my memory and get my bearings again, but overall the challenge is reasonable with this one, but not overly taxing on the brain. So visually then, while this one doesn't really put a strain on the capabilities of the next gen hardware, it still looks pretty great and I really like the blending of Egyptian and art deco designs and architecture. The prominent use of geometric shapes mixed with circuitry designs, pillars and Egyptian statues worked really well and it really gave a sense of exploring something ancient and futuristic at the same time. While the game's colour scheme is pretty limited, with interiors primarily consisting of blacks and golds, they do help to make the neon highlights of important features stand out, and although the large exterior area of the facilities retains the biggest wow factor when it comes to visual spectacles, there were still a few occasions which made me slow to a walk and have a nice long look at my surroundings. So far as frame rate goes, I was playing on the Xbox Series X, so no issues here, and there'll likely be none on the Series S either, but the game could put the Xbox One through its paces, especially in the opening segment where you're walking through the forest and exploring the facility's exterior. On the audio side of things then, not a huge amount to report with this one. 
The sound effects are all pretty standard and all sound fine, but there is some decent voice acting which makes the main character feel believable, and the AI kind of has this GLaDOS-like attitude to her, though with a little less humour, which did make her feel more imposing and threatening. When it comes to music, the developers have gone for a minimal approach, with the majority of the game played with only an ambient background hum, but there are occasions when we get a bit of a music swell which helps build the drama with some classical strings and ambient space music. In all though, the game sounds decent, and the music isn't intrusive and leaves you to focus on the puzzle solving. So the final verdict on Faraday Protocol then, and I enjoyed playing through this one. While it didn't offer the level of challenge that I expected, the puzzles still required me to think logically about how to solve them, and I liked the story driven elements of the game, which is something that a lot of puzzle games end up neglecting. When it comes to the designs of the puzzles, it's clear that the developers have put plenty of thought into them, and while the actual mechanics of them are a little simplistic, there's still plenty here for puzzle fans to enjoy. Now with a runtime of around 5-6 to six hours, I have to admit it's not the longest of games, but there are hidden secrets to find tucked away within levels, and hunting them all down will no doubt extend the playtime, even if it's just by a little. When it comes to problems, there's very little to report. I did find the way in which your aiming reticle locks onto objects could be a little frustrating at times, but aside from this, the only other issue occurs when you return to the game after shutting down your console, as there doesn't appear to be any sort of quick resume, and instead the game starts you from your last checkpoint. All in all though, Faraday Protocol is a decent puzzle game, and well worth a play if you're looking for a new puzzler to try out, and it gets a solid 7 out of 10 from me. If you often struggle with the complexity of some puzzle games, Faraday Protocol should prove to be a little easier on the old grey matter. With that then, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below if you're going to be checking out the game, and if you're a puzzle game fan like me, feel free to share your favourite puzzle titles. As always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you enjoy our content and want to see more, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers everyone, take care.